Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and as well Pisces Rising uh, weekly tarot reading September 2nd to September 8th, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and uh, we are going to jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your uh, week Pisces is going to be the Magician. Followed by the next card which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome here, we do have the Queen of Swords. Afterwards, it is the positive aspect of the, Queen, of the King of Cups that we do have here. And then the last one is going to be the Guidance of the Seven of, so of, the seven of Wands. Uh, so um, we do have those those kind of a situations where two people are fighting among each other of how much you're worth, all right? Like for example, two friends um, or two people into your social circle, which one of them is strongly against you, while the other one have always your back, okay? Uh, but before we go into that and see how this plays out, so my point here is that you are going to find yourself in between the hammer and the anvil throughout uh, this week. But before we go into that, let's uh, and see how it plays out and why these people are going to have such a conflict about you, all right? Let's run the cards one more time. So the first one, it is the magician, which is the general topic and the theme of your week, followed by the Queen of Swords, which stands for the for the challenges that you need to overcome. Afterwards is going to be the King of Cups, which stands for the positive aspect of the week. And the last one here is going to be the Seven of Wands, which represents the guidance that Tarot is offering. All right, so the Magician. Well, the Magician, uh, it's a very broad card in its, in its foundation. It may relate to literally everything. Usually the magician, it is the very initial step, uh, steps of one's enterprise. The fall, it's the time just before the beginning, when you shape your idea, you know, when you are carefree about it, when you don't have much of a clue how you're gonna get to the end of your destination, but yet your destination, it's, it's kind of appealing and you are trying to um, not trying exactly, but you're feeling optimistic about it. While the Magician, which is the next card, it is the time for you to boost up your determination. It is time to maintain your sovereignty. It is time to collect the, uh, the assets you need into this uh, thing. It is time to negotiate your way through. That being said, the Magician points that throughout this week, you're going to shine with exceptional skills exceptional maneuvers, you're going to present yourself just as one is, okay, and that is going to win you a lot of followers, you're going to start obtaining more 
fame, if I may express it that way, you are going to become more recognized than before because of your good performance in your career, because of your uh, presence in your relationship, for example, your words are going to be heard as well because your um, mm, communicational skills are going to be at their peak and uh, simply people will start believing in you more and more. The accompanied card here, it is the five of wands, the formation, it is a active friends that we do have and that is a very, very powerful combo for you to do things that are going to amaze, all right? Things that people um, thought that cannot be achieved, all right? For example, um, into your career, your boss, let's say, thinks that uh, a certain project or a certain endeavor cannot be achieved and you prove them wrong. As a matter of fact, back in the days, I had a friend who got a promotion that way. Uh, they were manifesting some sort of a, an app for videos, for mobile phones and these kind of things. And these videos were stuttering and nobody there could have, could have, figured, out, could have figured out how these things uh, how to improve the quality of the video and the, the chief director of the programmer said that it is impossible Well, this friend of mine made it work, all right? They, they just made it work despite that the professional who has 40 plus years of experience said that it is impossible because the technology does not allow it to, all right? So the whole point here <clears throat> it is that you're gonna have the conditions just right to make the magic happen. And I'm not talking about uh, this fairy tale magic, but to prove people wrong that only thing that they do is just excuses, but while actually, you know, should you exert your determinations and actions into it and your skills into it, actually everything can happen. And that will create points of conflicts, okay? Uh, there will be those envy, en envious to your success. There will be those who are jealous. There will be those who will feel threatened, especially this one, Queen of Swords. Now, the Queen of Swords, before you shine, uh, before you are to shine in this week with your exceptional skills, knowledge, you know, and determination, that Queen was at these shoes. That queen was the person everybody went to that queen was the most experienced one into the team or the most experienced one into the um <clears throat> into the social circle now that i think of about social circles you know it could be that you're in a social circle with let's say a couple of women's more or, or a, a a few women in there and there is that woman in this uh, social circle you are in that Everybody thinks that she's most attractive, that when men are revolving around the social circle, they always first try their chances with her. But this time around, because of your presence, because of your makeup, because you take the things within your own hands, instead of her, the men are coming to you first, okay? And that woman now feels threatening, now, now feels that her uh, dominion, it's, it's losing grip upon the situation. And uh, yeah, this is going to be a hidden enemy out there. Uh, you need to know that this is a person with a great amount of experience. This is a person who can work with literally everything and can use everything against you. So it's very important to be true to yourself. Now, who that could be, it's a bit unpredictable uh, because it, this queen does a, a very good job hiding her intentions, all right? But usually it's very cold, okay? This is how you can, you can recognize this person. Usually it's deprived from emotions. It's deprived from feelings. She may say, uh, I am happy for you, while in the same time her statement may not look very sincere, okay? This is how you are going to uh, recognize her. The accompanied card here, it is the Nine of Wands, so she is real predator, man. I mean, she, I'm saying she because it's a queen, but it could be a man as well. She is willing to um, adapt herself. She is willing to uh, change in a such a way that nobody else would for such a thing, okay? She's willing to go out of her way in order to get her things. That's that's very dangerous and she's very patient with these things, all right? Uh, very calculative in the sense of that she creates storm, 
but let but uh, but is left unaffected by the storm she creates okay so very very analytical very sneaky surreptitious in some points nefarious person so you got to be very very careful about how much you are letting people in um, in your life and how much you are allowing those people to have influence in your life and you have to be careful because you do have someone who is on your side this time around that is going to be the king of cups now the king of cups it's very um, balanced one i mean it's not someone who is very excited it's not someone as well who is completely ignorant to what is going on around however the king of cups it's um it's a person who is capable of very deep emotions the point is that it does a very good job hiding their emotions however in this case this person is gonna divulge their emotions only to you okay so even though uh, that, that will be someone who, for example, will say, uh, I really count on you so much and you really mean a lot to me when you are alone with each other, all right? While in the same time, when you are among people, this person is not going to give that impression that you are everything for them or that they are holding on to you too tightly or, you know, they are counting on you and all these kind of stuff. It is just how they operate. They, they, they want to... Um, how can I place it? They want to have something special with every single individual without displaying it public, okay? And how what rules that person comes around? Well, it have your back, it stands against that queen, okay, to defend you and as well is going to help you with your endeavor here with the magician because the journey is just beginning, guys. I mean, there is a lot of work to be done uh, in regards to the magician, your skills, you know, your, your projects or your relationships and you will need all the help you need or all the help you can get. The accompanied card here is going to be the world, the formation, it is a active friend. And with the world card, nothing can sway the opinion of the, of the King of Cups. It's pretty much they are set and they will go with you through hell if they need to, uh, because they are as loyal as nothing else in this world. Additionally to that, with the world card, it does look like that that will be a person who knows everything about you. It could be your father, it could be your brother, you know, uh, or it could be your partner into, into relationships that will defend you with everything they got against this mean girl, for example, in the social circle that you are in, uh, and etc, etc. So you are going to fall, fall, like I said, in between the hammer and the anvil throughout this week. It is because you are proving yourself better than the Queen of Swords, that person who beforehand had the uh, reputation that is the best person in the um, in the environment you are in and the last one um, is the seven of wands which stands for the guidance that uh, Tara is offering to you Pisces so seven of wands uh, tells us first that you do have the resilience you do have the strength to resist the tauntings of the Queen of Swords to resist the temptations as well that she may try to play you with all right and uh, with that being said, to hold your ground. Additionally to that, the seven of um, wands here points that you should not believe to rumors and gossips. It's very, very important because that is one of the ways uh, that is the most um, common way how the Queen of Swords operates through rumors and gossips, spreading fallacies, right? And the last thing that the, that the seven of wands here points us is that you can do things without making much noise about. So what that tells us is that you can, um, how do you say it? You know, um, you can perform into a project or into a, into a relationship or whatever and leave that queen of sorts to be the victim of the circumstances. When she, when she finds out what you're doing, the job is already done, all right? This is how you can play your cards out. Now, if I think of, for example, that could be your supervisor that you are overshadowing her, I mean, that you are proving more capable than that supervisor and she feels threatened about her place to be given to you instead and your boss is defending you here, all right? That, that could be as well how this thing plays out. And the last card, which is accompanying the seven of uh, wands, it is the eight, it is the eight of swords. And while the Eight of Swords here points 
that you are entering into a, a battle, that you are entering into a, a situation that um, it's not like cannot be avoided, all right, but a situation that is going to restrain you in many ways, okay, in a sense of that you cannot simply leave that situation, but once you enter into it, you got to bring it to the very end. It is something a bit unavoidable. It is something uh, that you have to go through in the sense of that this is your reality and uh, trying to neglect your reality, it's like binding yourself being a slave to, to someone else, okay? For example, if you are overshadowing your uh, supervisor, your reality is to be supervisor and uh, it's not gonna go without a fight. If, if it is not with this one, it's gonna be with the next one, but eventually you will have to fight for your, um, for your better place into your career because, uh, for example, haven't you made you an impression that you are not getting along with any supervisor? And maybe this isn't because you or they are a bad person, but because you're simply better than them, all right? And that is the normal reaction of, say, of, of every supervisor, right? When they see someone who is better than them, they feel threatened about their place. It's, it's as simple as that. Okay, so that could be uh, that. That is the that could be the uh, the manifestation of this reading, but uh, it was the reading for you, Pisces, for September second, two thousand second to September eight, two thousand and nineteen. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we are going to see each other around. Uh, until then, bye.